Time to put all these bits back in here. Um, I'm not going to bother greasing everything up, so I'm just going to bag this up and I can uh, grease, all, grease it all up when it's on the bike and do all the adjustments for the um, gear change and everything, which is uh, uh, another job. So I'll just put all this back in clean, then I'll wrap it up in a what in a in a polythene bag or something. And uh, right, so I'll clean some of these bits up. An oil seal under there. There's no gasket for this. I suppose that's right. Doesn't matter because I say we'll be working on this again another time. All right, just leave that loose. Kickstart spring. That's the right way up, isn't it? Do do do. Get in. All right. Yeah, that goes in there when that's on. We'll get something to force that round. Leave that in there for now. All right, I'm guessing it's seven sixteenths. Correct. All right, okay. And screwdriver. Bring it around with this. See if that works there. I need to trap that. That's near enough, I think. And get that in. Just not quite, is it? All right. Need to be better at trapping it. Will that work? And without cross threading it, everything's a bonus. Is that going? Yeah. All right. Excuse my hands, that's the kickstart spring going in now. Make sure that's going down the same. That's got a fair way to go yet. So I've got to grease all this anyway, and the uh, Pin. So I'll just leave it at that for now. Okay. And these pilasters, whatever they're called. So far, so good. Nothing's come out and twatted me in the eye. Okie dokie. There's time yet, though. And that, that part 
there goes inside that spring just down there so that moves as such that's that uh, next I've got this and that pin goes in there Take that out for now There, that will go that way up somewhere there, or it could go. What can it do? No, it can't do that. It's got to be that, isn't it? Right. Okay. Okey doke. And that top plate. That goes on there. Look for the bottom of these, that's the bottom. That's it. Yeah. At least seven sixteenths as well. Yeah. They don't take a much uh, doing up, do they? Got to sort out the um, the special mixture of oil that you put in the gearbox as well. Got to buy that yet yeah, as well. So I've got to do a list of things to buy. But yeah, we'll get this. Uh, we'll get this wrapped up and uh, call that done for now. But uh, yeah, okie dokie. We'll find something else to do now. Well, that's better. It's fell out. <laughs> I just thought. I wonder if that's uh, what's knocking through. But it's uh, it's all right. It's fell out. So that's that's better. Let me pick that up. If it might be a bit up. Right, we've got rid of that. Good. This hex bar won't fit in the lathe. It's too big. It's only got a 19 mil pass through hole on the lathe. I think. This is probably 19 mil at least. So. Um, yeah, so I've had to drill it out by hand, you see, uh, just so it's give it a thinner wall so the weld will take better. I'll put it on a 3mm setting or something. Get some plenty of heat in there. Um, there's not much, there's not much else I can do. Just weld that to that. I've got to Right, there we have it then, that's the uh, tool in the in the plug hole <laughs> and uh, just put that in the vise and that will allow me to bugger about with this. Yeah, that's good, nice and solid. <sighs> That's the cylinder. We started cleaning it up last night, just uh, doing some of the edge shapings and stuff. But a uh, bit of bad news there. We just came across a, a crack that wasn't noticeable, and it was all mucky. The more I cleaned it, the more sh it's showing up. And I thought, oh, that's uh, that's a nasty crack that is. So it looks like it's uh, it's come from the edge, obviously, and it's tracked up to there. Bit of a dimple or something there but it goes to there and then I think it might come back this way a little bit so the plan being obviously we're not going to buy a new cylinder head um, I'm going to drill it at the end of that crack there I'm probably going to drill it there 
where them two cracks meet that'll stop it tracking up uh, up that way and I'm gonna um, just V this out so I can get some uh, the loomy weld that I've got left try and loomy weld and repair it while it's in this state that might not even be a crack there but it, it I don't want to take a chance I'll do it anyway <laughs> You're not going to centre punch it, <laughs> shatter the thing. Some, uh, some of the loomy weld in there anyway. It's only cosmetics, not structural, so it should be all right if we get some kind of finish out of it. Now I'm gonna let this cool down before I go anywhere near it. Okay, it's the next day and uh, I've been polishing up the uh, fins and shaping them and everything and uh, doing a bit with the cylinder head anyway. As you can see, Bring him out here. There you go. <clears throat> so I shaped a, a lot of them. Had it on the buffer as well. Um, got a bit more work to do yet, just to finalise it, get it all as good as I can get it. Um, so I'm just taking the valves out now, so I can clean up inside there. Um, just done one, so I could have a practice with me, me new bit of kit, the valve compression tool. I'd got one, but I couldn't get on with it. This bloody thing here. Such a bloody horrible bloody thing to use. Massive as well. <laughs> so I'll give up on that. So I'll get rid of that or something, yeah. Uh, right. Bang on there. Just compressing the spring. Hopefully it's all staying in line. 
You can move it about a bit on the springs anyway. Difficult with one hand. There we go. Holding the torch with the other. That looks nice, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I, I ain't even done out with that yet. I ain't even cleaned it yet. Is it? Yeah, they look uh, good, Nick. I think we're uh, we're all good, I think. Right. Well, I was gonna check the bottom of the cylinder head for flatness, and it seems I ain't got any A4 wet and dry paper which I want really yeah so the crack was along there and back this way I drilled it out as you've seen and I've filled it with that uh, loomy weld there's still a little bit of a dimp there like a depression but we've mended it we've got out of it I think and to be honest that doesn't offend me anyway so the gearbox is all bagged up bagged and tagged um, workshop, the shed's looking a right mess as usual. I've got to have a tidy up, so I'll perhaps carry on with that in a minute. Just tidy up, and uh, that's my new uh, vlogging camera in there. The 360, it's in there somewhere anyway. Insta 360, some X2, is it or something? So I've got that. We'll get that working soon. I've got the bike kit with it as well, the motorcycle kit. Got some spare batteries um, off eBay. They're not proper um, Insta ones because they're really expensive, aren't they? But uh, got a case to keep it in as well. That's my manual for the Royal Enfield. I've got a parts book as well, which is buried in there. So we can uh, order all the parts we need. And they're good for um, reassembly as well. You can just check on a parts book, can't you, that you've got everything. And... Yeah, and I've got, um, today I've got um, a tank sealing kit from Frosts. I've used this before. It's the Paw 15, and it's got um, like a, um, a, I don't know if it's an etching coat or whatever it is, goes in first. It's, two, it's a three-part system anyway, and we'll go into that when I do that. But I do want to seal the tank, and this stuff is brilliant. I used that on the Honda, and I've used it on bikes before that as well. And it's never shifted, never come off. Hopefully the old uh, E10 petrol won't affect it. Tidy up time then, and I'll uh, see you all next time in the uh, shed. Cylinder head. I'm going. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.